Lux Audience Award is organized by European Parliament, where we currently are now, and European Film Academy. And it exists to raise awareness on current uh, social and political uh, issues in Europe. Um, audience are here engaged to vote for their favorite uh, films. And this year we have five uh, nominees. Um, the first is uh, Alcaraz, then Close, Triangle of Sadness, Will of the Wisps, and Burning Days. Um, the Burning Days actress, uh, Celine Yaninci, and actor uh, Ekin Kochi, are here with me uh, today to discuss uh, the movie. First, uh, congratulations on your wonderful performance in the uh, film. And uh, my first question would be, since wonderful fi uh, thing about film is you never, uh, you never know what you're going to get until the final cut is done. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, uh, what were your first impression when you saw it at some kind of premiere? Uh, it was... A perfect experience because my first time uh, in Cannes Film Festival. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was so excited. Yeah, that was. And <laughs> you know the Cannes atmosphere. Uh, I can only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's imagine together for the <laughs> second time. And uh, it was really good. Uh, I I already trust Emin and Emin's job. Our uh, Emin is our director, mm -hmm. Emin Alper. Uh, I, I was following his career, and then we met uh, for this uh, film, uh, which is burn name is Burning Day. So it was really nice. I was so excited, and I really liked the result uh, as an audience, as mm -hmm. an audience first, and then as an actress. And it was really good because I'm a cinephile too, as mm -hmm. an actress. So uh, I was really happy for Emin's European. European Europe career and I was really happy as an actress because he never cut my scene oh. <laughs> yes and it was really good for me too <coughs> so I was I was happy yeah what about you Akin? I've also been following um, his works and I've been reading his interviews I've already watched all of his movies and uh, I have his books in my house mm -hmm. like the surprise element was not really there for me because mm. um, I kind of knew how this movie is gonna look like and uh, I kind of guessed what kind of a process we were gonna have during the shootings. So um, it was kind of as I was, as I expected for me mm -hmm. and the uh, result is not also surprising to me because um, I knew that script was very powerful, very well written and he now uh, is a very experienced director. So I thought just if he could shoot it in a way that we want to, the outcome will be um, very good and it can go to the um, very high level. So. Um, which it did. We went to Cannes, and uh, it was a very, very nice experience. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how was working with uh, Emin? Uh, he's um, uh, him being historian as well as director. Exactly. Um, is his process somewhat different than other directors you previously worked with? Was this your first collaboration with him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, I don't, y yes, he's a, he has this academic uh, background, uh, but he's mostly like a movie guy. Like he loves talking about movies, he's in the movie industry, and it's kind of his passion. Yeah. Um, it's not like a, I don't, I've, I don't want to talk on behalf of him, but um, this is my uh, impression on him. I don't think he sees he see it as a, a job. It's mm. like what he loves doing. So um, the process was totally same with the other directors. It wasn't like very didactic or it wasn't very uh, kind of strict. Mm -hmm. No, he was just, we were trying things, we were rehearsing, we were we had also a nice relationship with him. So you him. felt safe with him and, yeah. Perfectly, that's a nice way to put it. Um, same with Akin, but maybe I can add, he's really nice. And 
and he's really deep inside and he's uh, but he was so open to our, us uh, to share something uh, to share his dream mm -hmm. and it was it was powerful because he's a really good visionary so um, he was nice and elegant at the set this, it was the difference I have to say yeah. because we are so busy uh, in Turkey as an actors yeah and uh, especially for the t TV mm -hmm. you know uh, it means um, sets the this uh, this film sets and journey was a bit different because it was more elegant mm -hmm. than the others I think for me uh, so you didn't feel rushed in doing it it was just steady and very very um, how to say it uh, smooth maybe mm, smooth yeah, smooth. Yeah, yeah it yeah. was smooth. Yes. Yeah. That was a bit of a rush. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's filmmaking. Uh, for your character, yes. <laughs> a bit of a rush. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. because. <laughs> okay, when yeah, talking about the characters, so uh, Murat, your, you, the character you play, is um, very complex. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I mean, he could be basically in a sequel to tell his whole story, or even prequel, basically. Yeah, yeah so but... Um, I mean, Abi, we're saying this, you know, take so, this... Yeah, yeah. I, I'll try this, do, uh, try to do this without spoiling no. anything, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, he's kind of like a uh, Don Quixote-like uh, mm -hmm. character, which is basically everybody is against him, and he just stands his ground mm -hmm. uh, there. Uh, how did you approach I, this? I mean, there is some kind of futility in everything he does. I think um, it was a very dangerous role for me because um, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't sure how to approach it because mm -hmm. it sometimes it might just show up somewhere suddenly, and uh, of course I want to rationalize every action on the script, but sometimes, especially with his cinema language, you cannot do this. Because he always thought that, okay, this is not a realistic movie. It's not a naturalistic approach we're yeah. having right now. So um, sometimes, like, I was going to very close to Selatin, like in a creepy way. Mm -hmm. Like in a normal life, you wouldn't do that. Never, yeah. But Emina, Emina uh, wanted this character to be a little bit more provocative, a bit more enigmatic, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a catalyzer in s some ways. So I was trying to find a balance between a real person and this uh, character with a mission. Mm -hmm. Because it, also, it, I think, serves the prosecutor's character. Yes. In some ways to open up the story. Absolutely, yes. And to mix it up. So um, that was the real challenge for me, mm -hmm. finding that balance. And uh, your character, Zeynep, uh, is very... Hmm. Can you uh, say Zeynep again? Zeynep? <laughs> okay. Um, she's very grounded and I. it seems to me like she she's had experience uh, in this uh, she's seen this story before. She's she's mm -hmm. seen the. I think uh, she lived this. Story yeah, uh, the press, uh, 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 the prosecutor's uh, predecessor. She she met him, if I understood from the movie, and uh, she uh, she really knows what's going down in in the uh, Yalkimar, Yalkimar. Yaniklar. 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 <laughs> so she she really knows what's going down in uh, Yaniklar, um, and. Um, she's really brings some gravity to this seriousness and we a sense of scope uh, how far this corruption is uh, going uh, so what was your process in uh, entering her, her shoes um it was um, it wasn't so difficult for me but it was interesting for me in that way i should to discover what is bad and good, uh, true and false. And um, I, as an actress, um, in that character, I really push myself to think about it and decide about it. And then Emin offered me a new 
uh, options, third options, what's the uh, grey idea of the life uh, in between our decisions, uh, our emotions. So uh, we weren't, and the second thing uh, is the, I, I was thinking as an actress and Celine also, I can be sure uh, about anything in my life and in the script too. Mm -hmm. And uh, this script offered me, you can't be sure anything 100%. So you learned something from yeah, the character. I learned some, yeah. yeah, I learned something from the character. So uh, for the Zeynep, um, f first thing, she is the, just, she is the woman. Yeah. yeah. And uh, there is a one woman and second, uh, two women, mm -hmm. two women in that film, and I'm one of them. And Zeynep was so close, and I think uh, she couldn't uh, happen her dreams. And she, I think she has a big major depression inside, as <laughs> like everyone living in a Turkey. <laughs> oh, a bit disillusioned, yeah, I yeah. understand, yeah. Yeah, because we know that uh, emotion inside of us and we had a big challenge uh, of it for our country mm -hmm. too. Uh, so, um, she was, uh, I had just six, seven uh, scenes, but mm -hmm. th they were really powerful. Yeah. And I, I, I learned something, yeah, something really important things for mm -hmm. my life. And I discovered the, what is bad, what is uh, what 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 does it mean, what does black mean, what does white mean? Uh, can I really sure about everything? So I did my decisions, and I mean like it, and he use it. So yeah. yeah, if it's good enough for him, it's okay. Yeah, uh, it's all about Amin, yeah. Amin's happiness. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this uh, film is very. Um, it deals with a lot of things. Uh, thematically, it is very uh, dense. I think it's about poli politics, local politics, corruption, uh, urban versus uh, rural, mm -hmm. um, a bit of homophobia. Mm -hmm. um, um, which uh, of those themes or any other uh, are personally closest to you? Because I see a lot of a lot of Turkey in this movie, but it can also be applicable to basically any other place in the world, because I'm sure every country has its own Yannick Lari. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it was a very nice uh, explanation. I agree on what you've just said 100%. For me, it's all about your relationship between you and the authority, and how you deal with it, how you deal with the pressure. Because you want to be you. You want to be freely express yourself, freely become who you really want to be. And sometimes it's not possible mm -hmm. because there is an authority that is not accepting of who you are and as you are. So um, it's all about standing out against it and try to trying to find the courage to show up to be there exist there as you are um, so i think there are many aspects in the in thematically yeah the political homophobia uh, like many things but for me it combines all of them and i will just call it uh authority and uh, the relationship between you and that authority. Mm -hmm. so. okay. It was perfect, and I want to add maybe. Um, yeah, as an individual, mm -hmm. um, we subconsciously we want to be free. Mm -hmm. Freedom is the most important t thing. I agree. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> yeah. I agree. So yeah, we are trying to find it uh, in Brazil, in Turkey, in Germany, yeah. whatever. So we are trying to find it with the cinema, polit 
po some politics, <laughs> political, politics, Politiking, some politics, yeah. or supports, blah blah. What, what you wanna do? Uh, so it's all about, to, uh, I think, challenge to get to be hundred percent free. So yes, you're mm -hmm. right. Uh, the story can be. Um, can be happen in everywhere in the world mm -hmm. because it's uh, it's all about to get your freedom go to back mm -hmm. uh, because this is the real pow power yeah. and all these things uh, about to about to get your power back. I understand. Yeah. yeah. Great. Great. Um, both of you shoot a lot of uh, both movies and TV shows. Is there a difference in Turkey uh, when working on movie or TV? Which one of you, which one of them uh, do you prefer? For money, I prefer TV <laughs> show. Mm -hmm. um, for myself, for my soul, I prefer <laughs> movies. Uh, mostly people don't care about, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I do care about them. Yeah, me too. So, uh, I think it's again finding a nice dose yeah. of the two because I don't want to be the poor artist who just makes movies and you know trying to survive. I just want to have my own comfort zone and at some point I can just challenge myself, put some challenges on me and uh, try to uh, get more experience and putting the experience uh, first thing. Uh, but when I'm doing the TV show, of course, I would love to uh, be a part of the good quality shows always, but it's not happening always. So uh, sometimes you just uh, make this decision. Like same thing in Hollywood as well. I think you just mm -hmm. have this blockbuster movie which, of yeah. course, you're not fascinated by it, by the script. But you do it, it's fine. You want to, you know, you're making some money, you're you're working, you're doing, you're, it's flowing. You need to keep on acting, you know? So it's like a muscle, you need to mm -hmm. practice exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. You, you should keep on doing it. And then there is a, another project that you don't care about money at all. You don't even talk about it. You talk about the story, you talk about the director, you want to you, you want to experience it and you're excited about it. So uh, not only this, not only that, a bit of both. And this is you? Yes, you have to so. keep it on, you have to keep on. And you have to um, improve your muscles about acting. I love acting. Uh, You've been doing it your whole life, basically. Hmm? You've been doing acting your whole life? Yes. For me, it seems. Yes. Yeah, you've from my six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, uh, I, I I can prefer the TV shows. I can prefer the movies and the theater. The, it's never mind. I, I'm I'm really addicted of uh, learning something, learning new things and uh, getting more experiences. I think uh, it's really connected with the money <laughs> and. You know, TV show is, uh, I can't say they are bad, it's totally different experiences because it's uh, improving your muscles every day. When you are doing a TV show, you have to be there six days a week. So uh, if you really open to improve yourself, uh, you are changing your angle and uh, you are using that uh, for your way. So everything is... Uh, Yes, perfect for me. Understood. For for the being an actor, doing something, but of course, cinema is so uh, effective to meet uh, someone else, to uh, to meet the audiences from the different countries. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. So thank you both for coming for this uh, uh, interview. Uh, so Lux Awards, uh, Lux Audience Award, uh, please vote uh, while there's still time. Uh, the movie of the day is Burning Days. Thank you both. Thank, thank you, you very much.